everybody. I'm Tony Fleming. Thank you so much for joining me on today's race car video. You say, Tony, it's a, it's a Boss 302. Why, what do you mean race car? Well, what I mean race cars, you got to build race cars. You got to race on Sunday to sell on Monday. All right. And so Ford had to build enough of these to go racing. And what we have here is what I would call a future classic. And you say, well, Tony, what exactly is a future classic or how could you possibly predict the future? And you're absolutely right. I can't predict the future, but here's what I will say. No one could predict the future of the Shelby GT500 KR, the GT500, the GT350, all of the models, the, the, the Boss 9, all of those models along the way that became collector cars. Nobody really knew that, right? These cars right here, I predict, because they're different than the other Mustangs that are out there, they're specific race cars built for the track, making a ton of power, great brakes, great suspension. Read the articles on these cars. Every magazine that writes an article on these cars talks about how great they are uh, at the track as far as handling and things like that, and they're also daily drivers too. This one here, ridiculous, 5,900 miles on it, right? It's like a brand new car. This is 2013 that this car was built. We're doing this video in 2023. Do the math, right? Hardly driven at all, driven to car shows, stuff like that. It is a showroom car. It is amazing. All right, so let's talk about the front end of this car because the front end is designed, one, for style, but not really. This car was designed for race. For instance, right here where you were in order to get the fog lights, these are inserts that come out. They have little tabs on them. Uh, you can take those out and use those as ram air for cold air induction, right? Comes with a spoiler already here. Add one more if you want to. They sell a separate one there. The headlights are fabulous, right? Difference here, though, like this, instead of, uh, instead of like a steel hood, composite lightweight hood, right? Great venting for getting the heat out of the car. The original style Boss 302 stripes, which are reflective by the way, right? What does that mean? At night, those turn to gold and different colors when certain headlights and those things stick next, sit and hit them. All right, so back down here to our rims, we got 19 inch rims all the way around. Now here's a nice thought too. Like if I'm getting a car, when I'm buying a car, I always look at the tires first. And why do I look at the tires first? Because I say, you know what, the person that has that car, if they loved it and uh, it was their baby, they'd buy the best tire they could buy, right? They wouldn't overpay for it, but they'd buy the best tire that they could buy versus it's a car, it's a lease turn in and I'm flipping the car and I don't care what I put on it. We have a nice set of Pirellis all the way around here. Those are expensive tires. They're great tires and they're built for this car. Big Brembo brakes sticking right out of the side there, okay? And then as we mark our way down here, we have side exit exhaust. Most people don't know that there's a side exit exhaust on a Boss 302 and you can have different inserts in there depending on how much you want to come out the side, uh, all the way up to I think 90% um, if you want most of it to come out of the side and not out the back so you can hear it out the window kind of like, like an AC Cobra or a Viper. All right, so you may or may not care what's under the hood here, but I like to show it off because it's just so good looking, right? You might want to go to a car show. This is stupid clean inside here. It is almost like a brand new car, right? Uh, the VIN tags that we talked about the rest of the place are on the locations they should be. Original decals are here, right? Showing an unmolested car. This is the way you want to buy a car, right? Because these cars typically continue to go up in value while other cars with higher miles do not. Got the cold air induction here. You got a great looking motor, 444 horsepower stock. They sell a couple small upgrades to get 500 horsepower out of them. You can supercharge these now for 650 horsepower, which passes the old school uh, GT500s, and you get a car that handles too, because the GT500s do not handle like this car does. This is an amazing machine, just as is. You don't need to do anything. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you, just in case you go to a car show or something like that, that is one good looking engine. All right, so old school interpretation uh, in a modern design is what happened here. These tail lights, first off, they're sequential. So if you've never seen how they work, when you turn the turn signal, they work their way uh, out to let people know that you're turning. They don't all flash at the same time. They go ding, 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 look really cool. This right here is almost mandatory. This car has a high top speed and you got to keep the air from underneath, but you also got to keep this right here, pushing the rear end down, especially at the track on high speed uh, corners and what have you. And then we have the great sounding exhaust here, polished tips. We talked about the side exit exhaust. However, I would like to point out this too, like if you wanted to go to a car show or go away the weekend to the beach or something like that, the trunk in these cars for a sports car is enormous, enormous. It's giant inside here. 
The last thing I wanted to point out is when you're looking at a car, there's certain things about a car that make them better than others. Here's one of those things when you're looking. For instance, the VIN tags, right, are still on uh, the panels of this car. What are the VIN tags? The VIN tags are security tags that are etched into the metal of the car for these panels. So if people steal the cars, they can't get rid of the parts because they're traceable back to this car. It's less likely that they would take the car apart and sell it when all of this is done. All of those things are still in place there. This does have a nice little call out here for Boss 302. I don't believe that it's factory uh, and it's just a decal. It can come off if you don't want it, but I think it looks nice too. So your choice, whatever you want, just let us know. All right, I'm smiling because I just walked up to this car and it's just such a great like, color combination. This is fabulous, right? So, so 70s Boss 302, orange, yellow, black stripes. All right, come on in here and let's get in a race cockpit. And you say, Tone, this is a Mustang cockpit. How could it be a race cockpit? Well, let me point out a few things that make it a race cockpit versus maybe some of the other Mustangs you might look at. First off, this has the upgraded Recaro seat package with the airbags built into the side high side bolsters as you can see here it's likelihood of you coming out of that seat is a lot less because of the way these are built and they're part alcantara you don't slide around like on a leather seat and that's why they're built like this this is not a cheaper seat because it's cloth and alcantara it's a significantly more expensive seat you have the engine turn dash here that the boss 302 call out you got that nice shifter knob that matches the stripes and the hood there and then here you have some business stuff this has a track uh, key and a regular key. So you might want to put the track key uh, in your sock drawer or something like that because that unleashes all the power, suspension, engine mapping, and things like that. We also have uh, here 180 mile an hour speedometer. I don't know if this car does 180, but I'm sure there's some modifications you could do to get it to 180. And can you imagine doing 180 of this car? Oh my God, 9,000 RPM tack. That's all race stuff. However, it's also a daily driver too. Like it has an upgraded audio system. It has a great climate control system. It has uh, power windows and power mirrors and power locks and keyless entry. And just, uh, it's just an awesome, awesome car. That's why I get excited because it's a modern race car that you could drive every day if you wanted to. All right, so walk with me while we close up this video. And I wanna give you a couple stats real quick about something here that makes this car different than the others. This potentially could be the lowest mileage one in the country. We're talking about 5,900 miles on it. However, they only made 262, sorry, 262 of these uh, school bus yellow uh, Boss Mustangs. And that is a low production figure. I'm sure somewhere along the line, they've crashed some, some of uh, whatever's happened. That means there's even less of them. And how many are left with these few miles? How many have been taken care of like this? Garage kept in the summer, garage kept, maybe taken to some car shows and things like this. This is 2022, we're doing this video, right? This is a 2013, it's a nine year old car. It's almost 10 years old with 5,900 miles on it. 5,900, okay? That is an amazing stat. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this amazing, amazing car. And if you would, please don't forget to, uh, uh, like the video right down there below and subscribe to the channel. You get some great content every week. And if you would, uh, pass this along to your friends and share that too. All right. Now we're headed out for a test drive. I'll see you in the car. There's just something about a Mustang. It's a firing order. It's the exhaust. It's everything. It's got the side exhaust. It's got the rear exhaust here. Wait to hear this thing. It is sick. taking our Boss 302 track car out. T is wearing a diaper today because he said he's a little bit nervous about my driving style. But the great thing about this car is it requires no master driver. We're just using half the RPMs right now. And we're rolling on the corners. I don't know if you guys can get a little road view. I'm looking through the back shades back there. Oh man, this is awesome. Listen to this thing. It rides smooth. It handles well. Heavy braking zone here. Look at this car. Just go. I think anybody could drive this fast.